How's it going everyone, Joe here from Big Chat Guys, and today I want to show you how to make a dedicated modded Minecraft server using Oracle Cloud. Uh, the tools I'll be using today are FileZilla and PuTTY, as well as PuTTY Gen, but I believe that comes with the PuTTY install. The first thing you'll need to do is create an Oracle Cloud account, and once you've done that, you can go to this page and select Create a VM Instance. We can name this instance anything, I'm going to name it Minecraft Server. Next, we can go to Image and Shape, Change Shape and select four OCPUs and 24 gigabytes of RAM. Don't mind this, this is just because my free trial is over, but as long as you follow these steps and are always free eligible, you will have no issue. Um, we can select shape and then go to networking and select create a new virtual cloud network, save our private key and create. So once we're able to see subnet, we can click on subnet and we can go to default security list add ingress rules and we'll be adding 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0 with a IP protocol of TCP. Go ahead and copy that and add the ingress rule. We're going to add another one with 0.0.0 slash .0, 0, .0, 0 but we'll be using UDP instead of TCP. Next we need to go to putty gen and load our key that we just saved. Um, if you don't see it anywhere we can do all files and that will show it. We can save our private key and I'm just going to call it key. And then we can close out of putty gen and open up putty. Next, we can paste our IP address, make sure you're on port 22, and then SSH auth credentials, and then load that private key that we just saved. We can go ahead and install Java. I'm going to be installing JDK 20, so I'm just going to copy and paste that. All of the commands will be in the description. Awesome. Now that that's done, we need to open up the ports on our VM's firewall. We can do that by typing in these commands again in the description so you can just copy and paste next we need to install tmux now we need to go ahead and open up filezilla go to site manager new site our protocol will be sftp our host will be the ip address we can grab that again port 22 logon type will be key file user will be opc and then the key file will be that key that we saved through putty gen next we need to make a text file call it eula.txt and inside of the text file we can write eula equals true like so make sure to save and close out of that drag that bad boy into the main directory next we need to go to this link right here this is just the fabric server launcher download and we need to select our minecraft version i'm going to do 1.19.2 i'm going to download that and i'm going to copy this command and make sure to change the 2g to 24g this just tells Minecraft how much RAM we want to allocate to the server. And while we're here, we're going to go ahead and download our server files. I'll be using Big Chad Guys Plus 3.1. So once that's done downloading, we can copy and paste our fabric server launcher, as well as grab our config and mods folder from the server files. We can put those into FileZilla. We can go ahead and paste that command that we just copied over from the fabric site and this should start the Minecraft server download. You can see all the mods being loaded. All right, awesome. So it looks like the server was set up and Minecraft is up and running. So I'm gonna put that to the side and I'm gonna grab the IP address from the instance details page. I'm gonna go to multiplayer, add server, server address, bink, bink, join server. Sweet, now we're loaded into Minecraft. Um, just to make sure that it's dedicated completely, we can go ahead and close this, bink. And yeah, cool. Let me know if you have any issues with this tutorial and I will try to clear stuff up.